Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. In today's video, we're discussing container size for growing pepper plants. Now this is an incredibly common question that we get asked, what is the ideal container size for growing pepper plants? And in case you're here for a very simple, quick answer, I'll just say 10 to 12 inch diameter pots along the top will be adequate for most pepper plants. However, I'd like to go into more detail about some of the options that you have when you're choosing a pot like these fabric bags and using smaller containers in certain circumstances. But before I get started, check out Pepper Geek on Instagram. We post exclusive pictures there that we don't post anywhere else about our peppers. We have some really interesting varieties growing this year like this one here, but many others to come in the season. So don't miss it. Follow our pepper growing journey this year over at Instagram at Pepper Geek. Okay, so let's talk container size. Generally speaking, the larger the container, the larger the plant can grow, and the more peppers that you can get off of each plant. However, that's not the case for every variety, and I'm just gonna generalize by species and explain what I mean. Capsicum annuum species plants tend to be smaller and can do with a much smaller pot. So these include the jalapeno, the banana pepper, serrano pepper. Now that's overly generalizing. There are some plants within the annuum species that require more space like bell peppers or poblanos. But generally speaking, your annuum species are going to need less space than others. And these are obviously some of the most common peppers that are grown, but check your seed packet. If you're growing non-spicy peppers, it's pretty likely that it's an annuum pepper, and you should be able to get away with a smaller pot like this 10-inch pot here. Now this is a three gallon pot and we used this for most of our potted pepper plants last year and we had some really great results with both annuums and chinen species which are the two most common species that we grow personally. The reason annuums don't really need as much space generally speaking is they just don't grow to be as large as the chinen's plants which I have one beside me here. Chinen species pepper plants like ghost peppers, habaneros, carolina reapers, scotch bonnets, what have you. They benefit from being in as much soil as possible. Some people plant them in massive pots, like 40 gallon plus pots, and the size of the plant reflects that size container, as long as you have a long enough growing season for the plant to actually achieve a maximum size like that. So for Chinen species plants, I would recommend going larger, like this 12 inch pot here. And you can see it's significantly larger in terms of volume. You go from three gallons of soil space to five gallons. And like I said, as long as the plants have enough time to actually grow into all of this soil, you'll get larger plants, larger harvests by the end of the season. So that begs the question, why do I have this Chinen species pepper plant sitting in this eight inch pot here and it's a very small plant? That's because I wanted this plant to fruit early. And that's one reason you might wanna keep your pot size smaller. This is about a one gallon pot and as you can see, it really only sustained growth to about two feet in height and we have about eight or 10 peppers on it. This was just grown indoors over the winter and it was more of an experiment than it was trying to achieve the maximum harvest. So if you have a shorter growing season, say you only have a couple of months of outdoors time for your plant, you may actually benefit from downsizing your pots and keeping your plants relatively small. Upsizing this plant just to this size pot, it's just two more inches in diameter, but it's almost triple the volume, will result in a much bigger plant. Our Chinen's peppers last year in these size pots were four feet, five feet tall in some cases. Now, I also wanna to touch on volume. This is one of our first plants to go into a final container, and this is a 12 inch fabric pot and since these aren't tapered along the sides like ceramic or plastic pots have to be for storage, you get more volume of soil space for the same diameter pot. Let's bring this one back in. This is a 12 inch plastic pot, but as you can see, it's tapered and you're missing out on all of this space for additional soil. And I did some math to figure out the difference here. And it turns out that you get about 40% more soil space in fabric pots that don't taper versus tapering pots. So I'm very intrigued by these pots. This is the first year we're gonna be using these fabric pots. These are from Bootstrap Farmer. They actually sent these over in a little care package earlier in the year with some other seed starting supplies. And we're very interested to find out what's gonna happen in many respects versus growing in plastic pots. The other benefit here obviously is that these fabric pots can be folded down. And this is why they don't need to be tapered because they don't need to fit inside one another. They can just be cleaned up and folded down for storage. We've also had some people ask if they could grow in very small pots. And the answer is yes, but if you're growing a plant that grows very large peppers like a poblano or a bell pepper, you really need to upsize the pot to get more fruits per plant. If you're growing a variety that has small peppers like this here, Santaka pepper, as you can see, you'll get a lot of peppers even in this relatively small container. This is just a six inch pot, so it's far less than a gallon, probably more like a quart, 
of soil, and we have something like a dozen plus peppers on this little plant. So to summarize, peppers do benefit from more soil space, but some more than others. Annuum peppers like jalapenos and bell peppers don't need as much space, so a 10 inch pot like this one here will suffice. If you're growing chinens peppers and you have a long enough season, grow in bigger pots. 12 inch pots like this are great, but you can go even bigger if you have a really long growing season, plenty of time for the plant to mature in size before it starts setting fruit. I recommend going as big as you have space for, something like a 14 inch pot or even larger. You'll get a huge plant and a huge harvest by the end of the season. If you're interested in getting any of these products, I'll leave links down below. These grow bags are intriguing, but I can't really swear by them yet. I've heard good things and things are looking great so far, but it hasn't been proven for us personally yet. These have been great so far. They come in lots of colors and different sizes. The only thing is they're a little bit expensive because you have to buy them online and they need to be shipped and they come in this big box. These are great because you can get a bunch in a relatively small package size and not waste too much cardboard for shipping. Now, before I finish this video, some people were asking about this plant here. It's a very special and unique plant. We got seeds from Farouche Peppers on Instagram. I'll leave a link down below to his Instagram. He grows some amazing peppers and he crossbreeds peppers and that is what this is. He calls this the Blue Ghost Pink Pepper and it's some sort of cross between a Buccilochia and a purple pepper variety. It has purple foliage and purple pods that ripen to a peachy color. It's just gorgeous. We have one ripe pod so far, but we have some others that are even larger and should start to ripen pretty soon. But it's a really cool variant and it's unstable, but it's very interesting to watch it grow. This was actually Crystalline's experiment. She did a great job growing this little plant. It looks gorgeous and we're gonna keep it alive through the season. We'll probably bring it outside and let it continue to produce through the season and we'll keep you updated on progress, especially on Instagram. So please check us out on Instagram at PepperGeek. I'll leave a link down below or you can go search us. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.